Hey everyone, so I apologize if there are some mouth noises. I'm still healing from a surgery I had done uh, about a week and a half ago. My mouth is still killing me. And uh, I've been meaning to do a number of videos, but uh, I thought this one was more important. So I'm going to try and get through it. So. Again, I apologize for any weird breathing or mouth noises that I make. I'm, I'm in quite a bit of pain here. And what I want to talk about is this topic of community here on YouTube. And Coughlin's video, as well as um, Bob's video, Hatred42, uh, I'll uh, put links to those videos in the description so you have a better understanding of, of where I'm coming from and what I what I want to say is that I think any community that identifies itself on something as minuscule as um, a political agenda um, a religious um, or a theology or the lack of a theology um, I think is doomed I mean, look at what has happened to the Christian community you know we stopped um, preaching the the gospel message or we stopped trying to uh, deliver the message and moved into attacking each other and, and this is along the lines of what Coughlin was saying, you know, he, he, his video is, his videos are always really entertaining. That guy, that guy is a definite showman. But he brought up some really good points um, that I think we should all think about. And that is, you know, his point was, is that after the, a lot of the theists, you know, bugged off of YouTube because of what, well, what atheists would call ponage, I, I would more likely... I'll call it harassment or or trolling. Um, it, well, you can disagree with me all you want, and that's fine. Leave a comment, make a video, um, and I'll get to that that topic later. But you know, so the atheists were left to and talk amongst themselves, and in doing so, they discovered this plethora of other things that they really didn't see eye to eye on, and the same has happened to the the Christian community. You know, we stop talking about uh, atheism, and then we start talking about our uh, theological beliefs, and then we get into this big drama series of videos, and you know, calling other Christians, you know, not true Christians or lukewarm Christians or, or what have you, and you know, and in the process, uh, make ourselves look like you know, jackasses. And so, what the atheist community has done has been followed by the Christian community. And I think the problem is, is that we're grouping together in these groups that really don't do us justice in regards to um, how we see the world, how we see religion, um, how we see politics, our civil rights. What we need to do is, is shed these labels we need to shed these labels and and take a page from Brian J 1962 and because what he's done I think is incredibly brave and, and it's gotten to him um, into some trouble or under fire recently and he is undisclosed when it comes to uh, theology he doesn't um, call himself an atheist and he doesn't call himself a theist and the reason he does this is because it's really minuscule because it allows people to argue from a perspective um, to try and uh, pigeonhole him instead of arguing the points for their merits. And I think more people should take on this, um, this method. I wish I would have. I wish that when I came to YouTube, uh, I didn't tell people about my Christianity. And I probably shouldn't have because I really didn't come to YouTube 
um, to be a YouTube Christian. Um, I and I didn't come to YouTube to to preach the gospel. Um, I came to YouTube to be a part of a community and to share experiences and to learn from other human beings. So that's what I want to encourage everyone to do. Instead of leaving a trolley comment or just down thumbing a video and and running away, I would encourage you to to do, do it like what what I'm doing now. Get a screen capture, plug in your microphone. You don't have to show your face if you're one of these people that doesn't want to show your face. And lately, it's not that I don't want to show my face. And we all know I do lots of Google Hangouts and stuff. It's just right now, um, I'm having a bad hair day. I just got home from work, and I don't feel getting all fussied up to to do a video. And, and I'm going to get back to doing uh, production videos uh, soon enough. Uh, I've got some stuff, you know, that I'm going to do. Anyway, um, so like like I said, you know, just plug in your microphone and rant you know start doing video responses to people you know if you disagree with what they say you know then vocalize it take the time to make a video it doesn't take that long it really doesn't it doesn't have to be this big production you know so and and I want to bring up a point that I'm disappointed in the YouTube community because I the last video I did was a video on forgiveness and I directed that video to my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ look at the down thumbs on that video that is really disappointing because either the trolls came and they're idiots because they don't think that Christians should be forgiving or Christians came and felt like I pwned them and instead of looking within themselves and trying to be more forgiving they decided to down thumb this video either way you know you all suck and it's disappointing and I would ask any of the people that are watching this video that watched that last video and down thumbed make a video and say why you down thumbed well we both know you're not going to because no matter what you do or say you're gonna look like a douche but I'm just saying you know I would have more respect for you and I might learn something I mean, hey, maybe what you want to say is that you think I'm being a hypocrite. Well, that's fair. Maybe I am. Type it in a comment, make a video, and I will approve it as a response. Most of you know that I have no problem approving responses, even if I disagree with what you're saying, or even if the subject matter makes me look bad. I will post it and you know what it'll do maybe it'll start a dialogue between us maybe I can learn from it maybe you can learn from it who knows anyway my mouth hurts I'm gonna be doing a series of videos coming up and I want you to watch out for a promo video that I'm gonna be doing the neo atheist and I uh, mr. Michael Phelps no not the Olympic guy the other guy, the neo-atheist, we're going to be doing a Google Hangout. <coughs> Excuse me. And the first hour, I thought, would be just he and I discussing our differences. And then the second hour, I would invite those who wanted to be you know, wanted to be included. And then we could have kind of a free-for-all Q&A. So let me know if that sounds cool. If you want to, you want to do that. Um, I'm going to be waiting for the neo atheist to uh, get his uh, equipment in order and whatnot, so we can do that. But look for that promo video, 
and um, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Cheers.